The next is to ask John Ball, who is from the Labour Party, to come and speak to us. Thank you. I'm going to save energy by not uh, using any PowerPoint. <laughs> I also want to emphasise that the subject is the manifestos for Bath and North in Somerset. So when I refer to Bath, that will be when a specific reference is to Bath. Uh, it's the whole authority that we're presenting our man manifestos for. Um, our approach in the Baines Labour Group is a practical one. We supported the recent council resolution committing to a zero carbon balance by 2030 and declaring a climate emergency. But we see this as only a first step, valuable as raising consciousness. We can go away with a warm glow because we are in tune with other councils and institutions, but we need to set out practical measures to make this a reality. And we also need to take account of the fact that only 2% of the carbon footprint in this area is the responsibility, the direct responsibility of the council. I could give you a talk on national policies, the Labour Party's green transformation policy for example, but I'm going to talk about what we can do as a council. Baines, like other councils, is no longer responsible for schools, social housing, police or fire service, and in our area the obligation to reduce carbon emissions lies largely with private industry and bodies such as Kiro Housing, the NHS and the universities. So our role is, because we have no direct influence on many of these areas, to show leadership and to work with other bodies for our common aim. Furthermore, we're faced with a budget which is still falling. 50% uh, of it has disappeared over the last 10 years, thanks to the government's austerity programme, and it's predicted to fall further. So our room for financial manoeuvre in terms of incentives, uh, carrots rather than sticks, is somewhat limited. However, there are three areas where I think we can uh, produce results. First of all, setting the council's own house in order. Secondly, actions such as planning policies, which have no uh, or very small financial consequences. And thirdly, working with other bodies, for example, the West of England Combined Authority, to adopt policies which we can all, as constituents authorities, sign up to. Baines Council itself, thanks to a very good sustainability team, has a good record on reducing carbon emissions. It aims to reduce its emissions to 45% by 2026. We, as a group, have suggested other uh, possibilities than those being pursued at the moment. For example, incentives to council employees to use electric vehicles or on council businesses, uh, a review of heating efficiency and methods of power generation in council buildings, and a ban on single-use plastics at council functions and on council premises. Inexplicably, when we detail these and other proposals as an amendment to the climate change motion at the council, they were voted down. However, we did gain support for our motion to instruct the council to oppose the expansion of Bristol Airport, a noteworthy success given the important contribution aviation makes to creating carbon in the atmosphere, and aviation fuel is not taxed, of course. Moving on to planning policy, the council is already committed in its draft local plan to move towards zero carbon for new houses. However, however we also want to add opposition to fracking, which is an unacceptable development of new sources of fossil fuel. The Labour group led the way recently in objecting to the government's proposal that the government itself should make future planning decisions on all fracking applications depriving local people of a voice. We would like to see further supplementary planning guidance, strengthening opportunities for solar, hydroelectric and wind power. And we feel as domestic heating is an important source of carbon emissions, that we have to find a way of balancing the need to preserve the Georgian nature of buildings like this with the ability of their occupants to heat them uh, in order to uh, reduce the waste of heat and for the production of carbon. 
Uh, and uh, moving on, the third area is working with other people, with other bodies. Uh, there is a, in existence a Climate Change Act uh, which aims to, uh, that was the 2010 one, it aims to be the most ambitious in the world to reduce carbon emissions by 80% by 2050 and has already done so by 36%. However, um, much of this reduction has resulted from the change from coal-fired electricity generation to gas and then to renewables and the shrinking of our manufacturing base. Therefore, in order to improve on this target and achieve a carbon neutral situation, we need to look to reducing other sources of carbon and the most important of these is transport, 26% of uh, uh, carbon production. The Labour group wants to reduce reliance on the conventional private car by making walking and cycling and public transport more effective. For example, our manifesto proposes further extension of pedestrian, pedestrianised streets within Bath city centre. However, public transport is the key to reducing emissions. We therefore welcome the Labour Party policy nationally, which would allow mayoral combined authorities such as WECA to offer free bus travel to the under 25s to be financed from the vehicle excise duty. It's a big step forward given that these people have low incomes or run on student loans and it could discourage them from taking driving lessons, passing a driving test and then never turning back from being largely private car drivers. This policy we did uh, mention at the council and the leader of the council, the Conservative leader of the council, was so enthused by it, he's written to Philip Hammond asking whether money could be made available from the present government to fund such an initiative. We want also to continue the policy initiated by the Labour group of pressing WECA to introduce franchising using its new powers under the Bus Services Act. This means the Transport Authority specifying bus routes that meet the needs of its residents and then asking operators to bid for them against criteria of reliability, accessibility and price rather than the bus operators, such as First Bus, making the proposals and then uh, expecting the public to fit in with where they want to run the buses. This could lead to more routes being introduced, such as ones crossing bars, as well as those running from the outskirts into the city centre, and could counter the present dissatisfaction with the reliability and cost of bus services, which does deter people from using public transport. For the foreseeable future, buses would be the main public transport alternative to the private car. However, our manifesto also proposes Further investigation of the potential for trams as an alternative to buses or supplementary to them on routes such as the A4 towards Bristol and also measures to encourage rail travel and particularly the opening of stations at Radstock and Saltford. Finally, leaving transport aside, we should remember that WECA is responsible for skills development in the region in conjunction with training institutions. We should be lobbying for an increase in training for skills which will benefit a new green economy, such as the manufacture and installation of solar panels, the installation of domestic insulation, or the charging infrastructure for electric cars. The shift to renewable energy sources should provide important new job and retraining opportunities for our young people and those coming out of traditional industries. I've not covered every detail of my manifesto, which you'll be able to read here on pages 14 and 15. I've left some copies in the room while we're having coffee, uh, so I hope you'll have a chance to have a look at that. But I hope I've said enough to show that not only are the Labour group committed to the idea of a carbon neutral future, but also have positive ideas on how to achieve it. Thank you.